will do this now. Come on, Will. He's recording this now. Hi, look. When I'm here, hey, you can yeah. if he's down on me and I just thread the needle, nothing's going to happen. But when I got a little start getting my hands through as I, as I thread the needle, the principle is my legs still have to come over to my knees. He could have put more weight down, right? He could have, but he was letting me work. Okay? Alright? To escape this is a very easy thing in the process of, of techniques of how to get out. The best way to escape this position is already having the knowledge that this position exists so you don't get there. You follow what I'm saying? A lot of my guys in the cage or whatever, they get punched in the eye and they get a black eye. And they go, man, I got punched in the eye. Dude, you're, you're on the ground flat on your back and you got punched. You know how much stuff you did wrong to get there? There's a certain level of acceptance you're going to have to accept to make that many mistakes and then get mad at me because you didn't get out right. Okay? I'm showing you the way out. Okay? But sometimes, the I was training in Brazil with Hoyle, as, a, as one of the smaller of the brothers. And, and I asked him, I said, man, show me cross mountain skates. We spent the whole private that day on making my guard better. How to do step over drills, how to recover my guard. And I, I, I was all disappointed. Got through, and a good point was made. I was like, but man, my question was really how to get out of the cross mountain. Man, you do this right, you want to be cross mountain. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, you got to go. Good you, know, you know what I'm saying? But that's the truth. Some of the best defenses in every position is the awareness of what the next place is going to be. If you know you locks down that, that crop, the north-south, it's going to be a little bit harder to get out of. Right? Say before you, you could have locked down harder. Say that, that was right when you was transitioning. I, I, I moved. You didn't get a chance to lock all the way down. That was when I was supposed to move the, the, the best. I'm not supposed to wait till you get what you want on me and then try to move out of it. Man, I know the next place to be. That's the how you stay three moves ahead of somebody. I know where you gotta go next. I know what you want next. And I'm, I'm trying to shut down the doors where you're going next or my best escape route to where you're going. But if I know you're going all the way over here, I'm gonna set up an arm lock for you waiting way over here. In short, the best escape to most things is to be aware of what the place they're going to is. So then you don't really get locked down there. Because you already, by the time they're cross mounting, okay, like you were doing, like here, you start passing my guard. Go, 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 you pass, pass, pass. Then I was, because I, I was already here. You follow me? Because there was a certain time in that process, right? I was a little quick, but there was a certain time in that process, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up that quick. But there was a certain time in that process that you got to go, I'm losing my guard. Okay, it's not the end of the world. You know why? Because you know cross mountain moves. You get mountain, it's not the end of the world. You know why? You know mountain escapes. It's just another place on the ground, man. So as soon as your guard gets passed, you don't go, oh Lord, I got my guard passed. You know, as soon as you get your guard passed, you go, all right, I got to prepare for the next position. So as soon as the guard gets passed, you're already looking for the escape. You see what I'm saying now? You're not waiting until he locks down, then working out. Man, as soon as he's, I mean, he's beating my guard, he's going to go to the next place. Okay? Does that help you? Okay?